In this video, we'll look at what happens when we put iron 3 sulfate in water. That's Fe2SO43 plus H2O. So iron 3 sulfate, that's a solid. Water's a liquid. When we look at this compound here, iron, that's a metal, and the sulfate ion, that's a group of nonmetals. So when we have iron, that's a metal, and then these nonmetals, that's an ionic compound. And we should check to see if it dissolves in water. And we can do that with a solubility table. So on our solubility table, these are the cations, the positive ions, and we look down here, and here's iron 3, Fe3+, and we're going to go across to the sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. So we come down here, and where they meet, we have SS, and that means slightly soluble. So iron 3 sulfate is slightly soluble in water. Some of it will dissolve, but most of it will remain a solid. So let's go back to our equation now. We put the iron 3 sulfate in water, and some of it dissociates. It breaks apart into its ions. Iron, that's iron 3, so it has a 3 plus ionic charge. Sulfate, you need to remember this or look it up, that has a 2 minus ionic charge. So it dissociates, we have the Fe 3 plus plus the SO4 2 minus. We do need to make sure this is balanced though because we have two iron 3 plus ions. So we need to put a 2 here and then we have three of these sulfate ions. We need to put a three here. And since these are dissolved in water, or at least some of it is dissolved in water, we need to write AQ after each of the ions. AQ, that means aqueous or dissolved in water. And since we wrote AQ, we don't need to write water again on this side of the equation. Some people don't consider this to be a chemical equation because if we leave it out, the water here in the aqueous, that evaporates and we're back with the Fe2SO4-3. But either way, this is how you would write what happens when we put iron 3 sulfate in water. It dissociates into its ions, and we write the AQ to show that they're dissolved in water. In the case of iron 3 sulfate, only a little bit of it dissociates. Most of it stays as a solid because iron 3 sulfate is slightly soluble. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.